All right, uh, we're down to two of the one half by three eighths and fifty twos connecting the structure together. Um, we turn still got the quarter inch thing on the bottom there, but I just flipped it over and I used a little circuit board here, probably about a sixteenth of an inch thick, and she's just strong enough if it's balanced properly to lift this heavy toroid. So I'd say, you know, uh, this is good for this test. Um, if I took the board out and stuck it on there, it sticks pretty well. Like right now, you can see how weak it is. And now we'll uh, take the board off. And just from that little bit, see now, now we're hanging on so by adding the gaps um, it's probably not the proper way to go about this because you're losing a lot of what you're spending money on here <laughs> um, otherwise just use weaker magnets but uh, I would forget the gaps because it just destroys the contact uh, or the conductivity of the flux so now if we put two of these boards put it on there I can feel it but I couldn't slide that thing around there or do anything you know it, it I start to feel it right here and then she gets a little heavier you can see it pulling down um, so now we take our bar here and put it on top now we're making full contact uh, this thing should be conducting just as well as any of this and she feels invisible now we'll take away one of the boards let's put that one back on there i could feel it a little bit almost as strong as it was earlier with the two boards but we're still able to pick this up with those two magnets in there and it having a hard time with the gap only now with something else trying to suck up the field here we're still pretty strong it's still preferring that side um, let's see we use a smaller one to put this away I wonder if it's still going to prefer that side over this side if she goes on there pretty strong oh that one's on there real good that one that must be a high quality toroid like I said earlier um, that thing is tight um, let's put a little gap on there still holding on good so even these magnets are not strong enough or too, way too strong and are saturating this whole piece there's not enough material here to absorb all of the magnetic field to go through this path so now we have to go through one more video with weaker magnets we're going to use the little quarter inch by eighth inch. We'll try to make up. I don't know if it's going to hold all this together because of the surface area. We're going to give it a shot and uh, we'll see what happens there. There's going to be a very careful balance between the magnets, the circuit, and then your magnetic switch to switch it off and on. All right. Let's see. Get that off of there. Um, let's try some other experiment here. Let's put it on the gap. Okay. And with the gap, she's still good. Now we're going to try to kill the flux. It's time to kill the flux. Bang. All right. 
and she sticks. Let's see. Aha. Uh -huh. That was enough to kill it. But that's a lot. That's a lot of core that you need to absorb from these magnets. So we definitely need to go weaker magnets for this structure of flux path. Now this didn't really stick on there really well, so this one's taken up a lot. Um, let's try this other one. Same thing. Uh, this top piece must be, and it's on there pretty good as compared to this. This is coming off pretty easy. It's just kind of strange. Um, lot to learn, lot to learn. Um, so there it was. It took a lot to absorb. See? There's, there's enough flux there left after going through this and to pick that up. But if we try to kill it off, let's try this one. She sticks. Ah. Now we're above an area where we've absorbed probably just about all of it. Um, let's try picking up this little puppy. Huh? We can pick up that one. Let's try to kill more, kill some more flux. Oh look, we did chip that. Huh. Yeah, be careful with these things. She's still sticking. So we still didn't absorb all the flux with all of these. Oh, there it was. Hold on. Things weren't sitting tight. Let me see. It was a little crooked here. Ah, she still picks it up. Let's see how strong it is. She's there's still some extra flux there after going through all these paths to close the path for the flux. So we're still not uh, able to capture all of the flux. So now we'll go to smaller magnets. Let's see, all this is on here. Magnets are very, very strong, these N52s. Maybe they're too strong for these projects, and that's a problem. Alrighty. Video number four, coming soon. Thanks.